Hey guys, it's Ms. Mint here and welcome to episode 4 of Building for Clients. Now today, we are building a modern art studio for the Artie family, which was created by Doodle Penguin 14 Now Doodle Penguin has always been someone that I've seen commenting and in live streams and it's just, I really appreciate it. So thank you Doodle Penguin and I really felt like building an art studio today. So that is why I chose your family and they are a very beautiful couple. So the Artie family consists of Hazel Overton as well as Leo Tobin and their description for their house is Hazel and Leon would like a modern art studio to display and make some of their best masterpieces they were like a large garden with a barbecue area also they want a balcony and large windows the rest it's up to you but she but she wants a place where she can display her artwork proudly the budget for their house is 50,000 simoleons not including the lot payment good luck miss mint and hashtag miss mint client so thank you so much doodle penguin and let's jump straight onto the build so guys on to the build we go now i was a bit 50 50 on whether i actually like this build i'm not sure you'll have to let me know it wasn't what I pictured it to be like I went into the build kind of having a vision of what I wanted um, and it didn't turn out like that but I don't think it's particularly terrible I could improve it a little bit I think but you know it, it it's okay <laughs> it's okay but this was for doodle penguin so this is for you I hope it's not too bad and I hope you like it I guess so today well last episode let's talk about that first before we start talking about today I was telling you about how it was going to be my sports day now this was a quite a few weeks ago now in fact my actual sports day was two weeks ago today yes two weeks ago today uh, and the last video I was telling you about how it was going to be the sports day in the future and how I really didn't want to do it <laughs> and well I'm here today to tell you how it went yes guys brace yourselves because it's about to go down <laughs> now it's a good job I'm actually one second let me move my pop filter damn it right okay restart <laughs> I was just saying it's a good job I didn't actually record this on like the day that it was my sports day like when I came back because I would have been pretty triggered I'm not gonna lie I probably would have been a little bit mad now I'm not gonna go into like full-on details although that's probably what you want because I always have this fear that if someone from school, and I know it's probably not going to happen, um, because I'm, because it's not like I feel like you're only going to get found out by someone you know, like someone you know. If a you have someone you know that has like similar interests to you, and I don't think there are that many people that I know that like The Sims or like watch Sims videos, and or if you have like a really big channel with like millions of subscribers, but you never know, okay? You never know. S someone may find me, and then I will physically curl up into a ball and cry. And um, <laughs> but no, I always have this thing that I feel like someone's going to find it, and then it, I really kind of want to talk about people that like are in my real life, like people that I know from school, etc. But then I also don't because if they ever found it then I'll just be like oh no <laughs> oh no right so how do I say this without giving away the person basically I was meant to be doing a high jump and relay now out of the two of them I would have rather done relay because I'm not that slow you probably think I'm like a tortoise but I'm not I I'm not as bad as you would expect <laughs> let's just leave it at that I'm not absolutely terrible at running like I can get a shift on when I want to um high jump however boy no okay so my legs they don't coordinate it's like when you do trampolining at school everyone else is like doing these freaking flips these uh, whatever um and I'm just there I can't even jump up and down because my legs don't coordinate they don't stay straight it just doesn't it doesn't work so I was kind of more looking for I wasn't looking forward to it at all but out of the two of them I was looking forward more to doing relay <laughs> yeah however you, you can kind of see where this is going right um I love the way I'm not even talking about the build um however I didn't end up doing relay do you know why um because right uh someone was very sneaky this was someone else in the relay team um and they well Basically, they tried to be nice and convince me not to do it when actually, long story short, they thought I wasn't good enough to be in their t relay team and they thought that I, as well as someone else in the relay team, so she managed to 
swap out two people that were on the relay team originally for two people who she thought was really fast because she thought that me and this other person weren't fast enough to be on her relay team and that we were going to make her lose like because obviously it's her relay team like not not like the forms it is hers Mm, yes (laughs) yeah trying not to get triggered and if this person ever finds this hey yeah, no, no, home done, right? <laughs> yeah, just, you know, thought that was a bit sneaky. But let's talk about good old high jump before I get very annoyed. Um, high jump, high jump, you know, bar, jump over it. Bit of metal really hurts when you hit it, which basically gives away the whole situation. So, so they have the mat and obviously the high jump set up and the girls were going first instead of the boys. And there's a roughly... I know like 10, 10 girls from like my year competing in it. So there's, there's not that many really. And there's two, there's two uh, members of staff watching to see if you get over it. And there's another lady who's writing down, who's also a member of staff. She's not like a sports person. She like runs the library or something. And she's writing down scores. However, you have to have a run up to jump over the pole. So you're standing quite far away. Now she's trying to read your names out and you cannot hear what name she's saying. So basically everyone's going in a random order and she's, say, she's saying names like, uh, uh, <laughs> let's say a random name like Jane who I don't know a Jane by the way but like Jane your turn but nobody could hear the names that she was saying so people were just like oh do you, do you want to go yeah yeah yeah, yeah you, you go first <laughs> so random people were jumping at random times and it was it, it wasn't good well I tell you something right I definitely 120% you may think I'm lying and I'm just in a state of like denial but I got over the first two jumps I think which isn't impressive I know I know but I got over the first two jumps guaranteed and uh, some people didn't some people didn't which makes me pretty happy (laughs) no that sounds really bad not like I'm up for people's failure but you know kind of made me feel a bit better about myself but I definitely got over the first two jumps the first one I got over first time like a piece of cake you know like for my age I don't, mm, like, there isn't really, like, a specific height, really, because, like, when you're, when you're a kid, like, when you're really young, like, I don't know, when you're really young, there's kind of, like, you can distinguish between what to, I don't know, (laughs) I don't know, but the, for, mm, I'm pretty tall, I don't know why I was saying, like, for my age, because, to be honest, whatever age, you can be whatever height, but, I, compared to a lot of people, I'm not that small. Like, there are quite a few people... What I'm trying to say, <laughs> what I'm trying to say, long story short, is there are quite a few people who were also competing in high jump that were smaller than me, because I am actually medium height, maybe maybe verging on the edge of tallish. Um, so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not tiny. Um, and I got over the first one. Fine, you know, got them long legs. But the second one, I got over, like, second or third time. And I, I may have got over the third one. But I wasn't sure. But I definitely got over the sec- first and second, right? And then for one of them, I didn't even get a third go. Like, you were meant to get three attempts at it, and I didn't get a third go, which I was pretty annoyed about. But that's because you cannot hear what she was saying. Um, and then when we went to, like, get the results, I was like, okay, I may be, like, fifth or something. I don't know. But I was like, at least I didn't come last. She was reading out places. I was joint ninth place, which is last, by the way, with somebody else with like two other people there were loads of people tying in different positions it was kind of confusing but basically long story short I was last place with two other people and I looked at the sheet and she'd put a cross next to my name in every jump like as though I hadn't got over them and I was like be what (laughs) what I was like I was ready to go up and be like but I I'm literally a quiet little being like I may seem extremely extroverted I am really not um I if if in in my mind I was ready to go up and be like excuse me I got over the first two were you just not watching um but you know me 
too scared to do that, so I didn't. Uh, felt a little bit disappointed that she did that to me, and I, I had clarification, okay? You can ask anybody else that was there, and they all said, yes, you did, you did, and they're not saying that to make me feel better about myself. <laughs> I got over them. Uh, you can still see I'm a bit annoyed about this still, but, you know, I've got over it since, because I know in my heart I did it, and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, oh, jeez. Sports say, hey, <laughs> it's a terrible thing. Why did we do this to our children? Right. Anyway, other than that, I just sat around all day and ate crisps and sweets because that's genuinely what people do. It wasn't very exciting. And that's it. That's it. That was sports day. <laughs> hey, but really, right. I was looking forward to doing that and I'm a bit annoyed like I'm a bit annoyed that I didn't get to do it because although I was kind of happy that I got to sit it out because I didn't have to do extra physical activity I would have preferred to do that high jump like if she had said Katie no high jump I'd be like yes yes that's fine that's fine I don't care if you think I'm not good enough but really like don't assume I'm slow because bitch I'm no Farrah, no, <laughs> I, I'm your same but no, I, I'm not, I'm not, but just a little bit triggered, a little bit triggered, but you know, it's, it's fine, it's fine, you can clear, I'm, I'm clearly fine, I'm clearly fine, I'm just thinking about what to say for the next five minutes of this video, you know, oh yes, I wanted to clarify something about the, um, the, the application process of the building for clients, now, I do get a lot of questions about it. There is a video on my channel called I Need Your Help New Build Series. If you find that, that gives you all the instructions you need for submitting a sim. Um, but basically, yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> that's all I have to say. So that's how you submit a sim if you want your sims to be built for. Does that make sense? I think it does. But let's talk a bit about the build. I'm really sweaty from thinking about this story. Really sweaty. And as well, there's people going around taking pictures of you. And it's not pleasant, okay? It's not pleasant. It's not good. It's just downright horrible. <laughs> it's not good. Right, so the build. Yes, Katie, the build. What are we doing here? We are building a Sims house. Why are you talking about sports day? Um, but on other news, I only have one week left of going to school which is pretty exciting and then I can just be here for six weeks so you know it's not like I have to go through more more torture more torture oh yeah right you're listening uh, okay I'm not talking about the build now <laughs> I'm not talking about the build I found something else to talk about for the next four minutes yesterday my school decided to reward all of us lovely children they were going to take as to Harry Potter world, which is in the UK. Now, I have to admit, I'm not a very big Harry Potter fan, never watched the movies, anything like that. Oh my gosh, there's a hair in my mouth. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> oh, I feel like a cat. Is it gone? I think it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. So good. So good. Um, so yeah, it took, a, it took us quite a while to get there. Uh, it's near London. It's like quite near the middle of London. I've never been to London. Um, to be honest, I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but I think it was because it was the props and, like, the costumes. And I think if you're a massive Harry Potter fan and you know what, if and you know, like, where these props are from, and, like, they give you, like, oh, my gosh, that's what Harry wore, whatever, or, oh, my gosh, that was in that scene, then that's great. But if you have no idea what these pops are, it just looks like a musty book to you. It just looks like a bit of book that is a bit magical. You know, it didn't really do it for me, but it was fine because good day out of doing actual stuff. But, you know, I tried butterbeer. That was interesting. It was a bit butter. Well, it wasn't buttery. It was, like, caramelly. It's weird. I don't know. Well, I didn't pay for it myself because obviously I'm like cheap. Um, my friend paid for it. No, like we all give like a pound and there was five of us because, you know, hashtag popular. No, <laughs> only joking. I'm literally one of the nerds. I'm one of the nerdiest people ever. Um, but no, like semi-nerd to be honest. Um, but yeah, we shared two butter beers between five of us um, and it was okay. I couldn't drink a full one because they're a bit, you know, sickly. But they're all right. Not bad, not bad. I bought one of them fluffy things from the gift shop. They're like, I don't know what they're called. Jigglypuffs? Are they jigglies? Jiggos? Jigglypuffs? Jigglies? 
it's like a fluffy pink thing and it is pretty cute when you squidge it it goes it makes like a purring sound and i was like do i really want to spend my money on this do i really want to spend my money on this and i was like katie you you know you want it katie you know you want to buy it <laughs> you know you want to buy it so i went through like, why is my screen printing oh it's fine um so i went straight out and i queued up and i bought my jigglypuff i think that's what it's called bloody jigglypuff um i it has no relevance to me because i don't know what it's from but it's cute and i can wind my dogs up with it so it's all good it's all good don't worry about it don't worry about it some people right and i can understand you know hardcore harry potter fans you want to like get the full experience there some people spent 90 pound 90 pound yeah like i know i'm as shocked as you are 90 pound i was a bit su- surprised <laughs> surprised uh, i was a bit surprised because i thought that i had spent a lot spending like 15 pound <laughs> spending 50 i spent 17 pound on a jigglypuff and i feel really bad about it uh, i was feeling really bad about spending that much money on like a fluffy toy um but then when I heard people had spent £90, I was fine. <laughs> I was like, well, at least I haven't spent 90 uh, Someone spent £70 on a jumper, which, I mean, if you're going to have, like, some designer, I guess, but... You can find it on eBay for cheaper, to be honest. But I understand they loved Harry Potter. They wanted that jumper. So, you know, good on them. Good on them for spending their money. <laughs> for, for spending it on a spending it on a Harry Potter jumper. I also found Robert Pattinson's wand, which is really good because I like Twilight. Uh, there goes the dislike button. <laughs> no. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I really love to read your comments and it really does not mean the world to me when you subscribe. Why have I started my... I always do this. I start my intro when there's, like, another 30 seconds to go. And I'm like, Katie, why do you do this? Because then what are you going to fill the rest of the video up with? And I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe squeeze some, like, cheesy free royalty music in there. But then, like, that never works. So I'm just going to keep talking for another, like, 10 seconds. So I hope you don't mind that. Uh, how's your day, guys? How's your day been, guys? I've been a little bit ill. But I'm fine now because I've relieved my stress about the sports day. Which was two weeks ago. But anyway, guys thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time so bye guys